Hey guys, good morning and happy new year. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little video before the kids wake up on my setup. This is uh, my first shoot day. I got everything ready to go. Uh, with my first shoot day with the new BMP CC 4K, uh, which is the Blackmagic Pocket 4K cinema camera. Uh, it's an amazing camera. I can't wait to, to show you guys uh, some of the things I've been planning with it. Um, it was a little bit of learning. So I, uh, I built it. Took me a couple, about a week or so to get it all built together and, tw and tweaked the way I like it. Um, and then, of course, I had to learn how to use the B-RAW footage, right, and get that into Premiere Pro. So uh, I had to find what LUT to use, and um, and I, there, I actually had to buy a plugin for um, for Premiere Pro because I, I'm still learning DaVinci Resolve. Um, but um, uh, I needed to get a plugin called B-RAW Studio so I can edit B-RAW in uh, Premiere Pro. So anyways, I want to give you guys a little quick tour of the studio, uh, show you where things are today. And um, I know I've been quiet the past couple of weeks, but uh, it's because I've been in learning mode and planning mode. So uh, today is my very first shoot day. Uh, I'm going to be uh, doing an update video on the new Hilti SD4500, right? Um, so I have footage from site for that. So I'm going to film some some stuff here to add to that. And then I'm going to edit it together and hopefully have that uploaded in a couple of days for you guys. But anyways, enjoy the studio tour. So as you guys know, as you guys know, this is my my live stream setup. This is where I do all my all my streaming. Um, I'm going to be streaming from this camera now, uh, and I'll be I have the uh, the Brio as well. Uh, but I'm going to be mainly streaming off of the the Black Magic. I have the intensity the Intensity Pro 4K um, in my PC. Uh, you know, this is an Alienware custom PC that I built um, uh, right from uh, Alienware's website. I got the, I used the Rode NT1A for my my audio. This is, was a gift from Neil from the Urban Explorer from England. Uh, so I always love this guy for, for sending me that. Um, best, best audio upgrade I've ever had. Um, the stream deck, you know, I use the stream deck. I'm editing in Premiere Pro, a new, a new piece of software, Cinema 4D that I'm learning. It should be exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to add some visuals to that, uh, to my videos with that, right? Which I've been taking a lot of courses on Skillshare with it. And that's what I'm doing right there. So let's get into the Blackmagic Pocket 4K build. I'm using the Sigma Art 18 to 35 lens. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome lens, man. Uh, and I got the Metabone 0.71 speed booster, uh, uh, because this is an EF mount and the uh, black magic pocket is a four thirds, so uh, um, you need to get an adapter. Which, anyways, there's no point in buying four thirds uh, lenses anyway, because they're just they're just kind of, you know, uh, I would say not very useful outside of um, the like their <laughs> their their native uh, uh, um, cameras or whatnot. But uh, this is the shape follow focus. Um, I got uh, some extra rigging here. Of course, we got the lens, um, the lens support there. We have the the adapter for the um, uh, meta bones to the small rig cage, which is this is the small rig cage for the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Uh, carbon fiber rods. This is the Hilt, uh, the Manfrotto 504 HD on the um, uh, the aluminum legs. I think they're like the 502 legs and. We have the shape. This is a 135 watt hour battery. Uh, this is the shape uh, V mount with the cheese plate, and then I got this cool uh, mounting plate as well, right? So it, it's it's beautiful. It beautifully counterweights the the rig, and it's awesome. It is so awesome. We're running the the Shinobi uh, five inch monitor, right? The Atomos Shinobi, which is great because it gives you all kinds of analytics and stuff like that. You know, uh, there's false color right there. You can run zebras and everything off of that, right? So that's a pretty cool. I love this monitor, but you can see while I'm sitting in my chair, I can pull focus easily with the follow focus and see it up here on the monitor while I'm filming myself. And um, I can control certain things from my phone, right? I can, I can, I have a remote control. I can set any of the camera settings, the resolution, frame rate, anything like that from my phone. Uh, so the only thing I need is to pull focus manually still, right? Because I don't have the, um, the automatic, uh, focus yet, right? A uh, remote focus puller or whatever, you know? Uh, but anyway, so I got the, t this top handle is temporary. I actually have a, a wood, um, a wood handle coming. It's a small rig wood and metal handle, but it's a rotating handle for that. That's just temporary till that comes in. Running the, um, I got the Angel Bird uh, match pack. So I got the, um, the, uh, 
what is this? This is a this is two gigabyte, but that's not true. That's um uh 500 gigabyte uh oh it's to go sorry yeah ssd to, to go so this is a 500 megabyte or 500 gigabyte uh ssd and i also have um uh a big uh, sd or compact flash card in there as well in case i run out of space uh with all the battery power that i have on this i can shoot uh in the middle of the woods for like six hours and have enough power and uh, storage, which is really beautiful for this camera. Uh, you got I got the wooden side handle, and this is where you can mount uh, the microphone or something like that, right? When you're out in the field, uh, like it's like so or whatnot. But uh, because I'm shooting inside, I actually have audio off. Um, what else do we have here? Got a little got a little part here uh, to clamp in the cables, which is a very a must cable a must you know. Uh, this cable here is nice. Um, it's a flat cable. Uh, got it off of Amazon. One of the guys that had recommended it in his videos, so I went and got it. It is beautiful. I like the little flat cable. Um, but yeah, that's about it, right? I got the carbon fiber rods. Uh, of course, all small rig parts. Uh, everything is small rig. Uh, small rig shape uh, for the... So I have shape. Uh, this is a shape cheese plate as well. Uh, shape V-mount. Shape follow focus. Uh, the rest is small rig parts. So uh, it's a beautiful camera. It's just, it's just a beautiful camera. I can't wait to, to show you guys. So yeah, this is the first shoot day um, since having the camera. And I'm very excited for it. I don't know why, too, my Alienware Aurora case, it doesn't, the colors don't show up all the time. I got, it's finicky that way. Uh, but yeah, you guys know the rest. We have the Netgear, uh, uh, Netgear router, the HTC Vive Pro. Um, yeah, all my, all my, all the, my favorite creators all, all here on the board. Um, there's Chuck Chuck, and that's a, uh, um, VidCon, the Urban Explorer, Patty Broussard, Tokyo Drew, uh, VCG, the Chuck Chuck and your real estate whisperer. And uh, of course, just whatever brand stickers, but, um, yeah, if you have stickers, so you can send them, send it my way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got everything organized out here. Um, this is temporary. Um, I'm going to be organizing this all into the bag, into their bag soon. Um, just had to uh, organize it all. But this is just, this is where the other computer usually goes. Uh, I have the other tower down here. This is also a gaming PC. Uh, I got the Audio Technica mic running through the focus right on this one. Uh, which is usually for my son, right? But he's not here right now, so he's got the laptop at his mom's house and stuff. But uh, yeah, big space. Uh, I'm very excited. I'll be investing in new lighting um, next and uh, storage, carrying storage and lighting is the next two things I'll be investing in. So if you guys have any suggestions on lighting or carrying uh, cases for your, for your cameras and stuff, let me know. Uh, but yeah, got all the tools, <laughs> right? I'm going to be doing some macro shooting with the tools today, uh, which is going to be interesting because they're not new. They're, they're obviously been used, right? So, uh, but it's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm excited to, to, to do all this, right? But I um, wanted to wish, oh, let me see here. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to wish everybody a happy new year and uh, thank you for your patience and support through all my growth on YouTube and um, the other platforms. It's been an amazing journey. I've learned so much and i um, just so thankful for all of you for tuning in and uh, we're going to have an excellent and exciting 2020. All right, guys, this is Chris. Bye for now.